In this video, I want to tell you about the number one mistake that new tax deed investors make when they are getting into this business. So we are Tax Lien Certificate School. Uh, we are the leading provider of online information on tax lien and deed investing. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as we're always putting out new videos every single week. So let's talk about the biggest mistake new investors make when getting into this stuff. And here's what it is. For tax deed investing, I'm sure many of you more experienced guys know that you absolutely must positively go and look at the property before you buy it. That is the number one mistake new people make. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera here. My, my battery is dying. But you absolutely must go and look at the property and verify with your own eyes that the property's not burnt down, that it's not in a floodplain, that it's not destroyed or vandalized because the pictures that you see on things like Google Earth, those pictures could be up to a year old or two years old. So that data is not exactly accurate all the time. And yes, this is gonna be a shaky video because my gimbal battery has died. There we go. So the pictures online aren't always accurate. So as much as you don't want to, that's, that's part of this business is actually going out in the field, looking at the property, inspecting it. Now, what's gonna happen sometimes is when you show up at the property, it's gonna be occupied. So in that, in that case, we call it like a drive-by. So you get the camera ready, you drive by, check out the neighborhood, um, pull up on the MLS or Zillow, see what your comparables are, and then that way you can get a great idea of what properties are selling for. You always wanna go ahead and budget in your rehab like a worst case scenario, which could be like um, a full rehab. So calculate the average cost of rehabs, like a light rehab, medium, and a heavy rehab, and count for the worst case scenario, especially because we can't see inside of it. So then that way when you show up, um, you can plan for the worst case scenario and still make money. And that's really one of the most beautiful things about lean and deed investing is we get them so cheap that even if the thing screws up and it's a horrible deal, you can still have success. Um, I don't know how many deals we've done where it didn't look good and we got it and we had the budget to fix it up because we got it for five, 10 cents on the dollar, which is really the only avenue of real estate investing that allows you to go ahead and do that. So if you are a new investor, um, that's one of the biggest mistakes people make is they're always looking for shortcuts on how to not actually physically go see the property. So pull it all up on Google Earth and then build your list and then get out there and go and actually look at the property. Um, my other tip is that if you're traveling across the country for a real estate sale, make sure that, or if you're any type of airline travel, make sure you have a list of at least 100 properties so that by the time you get there and the list redeems, um, that list is probably gonna cut down by half so you'll have 50. And then the day of the sale, you might only be left with 20 or 30, so you need to make it worth your while. So that's our tip for the day. Make sure to subscribe if you're interested in tax liens and deeds. We have a great book called The ABCs of Tax Lien and Deed Investing. You can click this link on the page, go check it out, it's free. Subscribe, we'll see you soon.